The magic surrounding the Tour of Flanders is undeniable. It's more than the race's monument status or cobblestone climbs. It's more than 100 years of history and the legendary names born there. It's the shared experience between the racer and fan. An understanding that together they make the race what it is. The fans turn off the TV and venture out onto the roadside, bringing the energy and culture of Belgium with them, while the riders feed off this energy like gladiators entering the Colosseum. Professionals come to Belgium long before the race begins, setting up de facto HQs in nameless Belgian towns, preparing bikes and body for the race. None was favored at the 2017 Tour of Flanders more than Peter Sagan and his Bora Hans Grohe team. Peter came into the race with wins at Kerna Brussels Kerna, Terreno Adriatico, and a strong ride at Ghent Wevelgem. Renowned for a calm demeanor and a pressure filled environment, one of Peter's secrets is keeping family close, rooming with his brother Juraj, the Slovakian national champion, a key support rider in the cobbled classics. Ah, oh, for sure, it's uh, nice to have somebody from family really close to me. We can spend the time together and uh, we can live our dream from, uh, from the kids. It's more than Peter's natural talent that sets him apart. It's charisma and swagger, an aggressive and compelling racing style, a style that extends to what he rides and wears, from the custom paint on his bike to the ride 100% Speedcraft glasses he uses. I know the brand from uh, the motocross. It's uh, really famous and then uh, it's really unique uh, sun sunglasses for, for the race. You can't see the, the sunglasses like that in, in the group, something different. On race day, the city of Antwerp was transformed as fans and teams descended to send the riders off on 260 kilometers of racing over 18 brutal climbs. Along the roadside, it's as if every resident in Belgium has emerged to watch the race, lining the road three or four deep in every tiny hamlet it passes. The next generation of Belgian fans has the passion handed down by their parents, while fans that have seen the race for decades still can't miss its passing. It's a communal event, a rite of passage for all Belgians, to be truly appreciated, the Tour of Flanders needs to be witnessed in person, shoulder to shoulder with the other devotees, inches from the riders. You can smell uh, the, the massage oil, the oils on the riders. You, you can hear them, you can, you can see the pain in their eyes and everything, and it, it makes it special. You can just stand here, just uh, 50 centimeters on the side of the road, and they're passing right in front of you. Peter, the race was evolving perfectly. He displayed incredible patience on the Muir as Quickstep attacked, waiting for the final ascents of the Quermont and Paderberg to truly rev his engine. The race was going really well for us. Gilberto was in the front alone, and then uh, we started to change, changing him. And uh, I think the crucial point was uh, Quermont and Patrasberg, then we could chase to Philip, maybe. As well, Van Baal on the left hand side in the green, he's struggling to hold the wheel. Yep, Van Baal is... Oh! oh! Sagan is down! No! Sagan is down! Taken Van Avram up with him! It happened that crash and, uh, yeah, after that was, uh, for me, was over the race. Peter had only just begun to race when he was taken out by a jacket hanging over the railing on the upper slopes of the Quermont, leaving the question, would he have caught Gilbert, unanswered. While victory at this year's Tour of Flanders would go to another, Peter, the consummate professional, is already looking forward to other opportunities, including one of his favorite races in one of his favorite places, the Tour of California. I went to California seven years ago for the first time. Yeah, it was my uh, opportunity to come in America. It was a successful race for me for the first time. I won uh, two stages in Tour of California. And also the people, American, they start to cheer for me and uh, and it's a nice country. <laughs>